Well, hello, my fabulous friends. I hope you're doing well. Wow, we have another Spirits with Spirits. And tonight, I love this. Number one, I love this um, winery. It's called Crown and Thieves. And it's done like you're walking into the 1920s. And they even have a speakeasy down in the basement. And this one is called Pinky blinders it's a rosé so it's called pinky blinders instead of peaky blinders and this is uh, one of our favorite favorite uh, uh vineyards to uh to go uh buy wine i guess <laughs> what else do you do there and this is their rosé pinky blinders and we are huge huge fan of peaky blinders kind of sad when it was over but then happy that we see that they're they're doing a movie so hopefully that will will bring it forward a little bit. But uh, I just thought that was really kind of a smart name. Uh, so cheers to Spirits with Spirits. Now, I call this an adult rosé. There's some rosés that are like basically juice. You can have them for breakfast. They're sweet. They're, uh, you know, like they're strawberry juice. This is an adult rosé. This is a... Uh, a rosé that you would have with a good pasta dish um, or uh, perhaps sipping at an official event, like a wedding or, or some such thing. Very, very nice. Very nice. As you can see, it has a really deep rosé color to it. It's uh, not as light as most rosés. All right. So I haven't done this in a while. And uh, so far, the last couple of years, I have done the aura readings for the royal family after they've had their summer break, see if things lightened up. So I use the secret language of color cards. Now, if we remember last time, a lot of them had red. Remember that? Like, like they were um, on guard and upset about something. And and uh, it was crazy how many of them had red. So I want to see if they've relaxed somehow, if they're feeling better somehow. Um, how are things going? Uh, yeah, everyone's back at work. Everyone smiles on their faces. We had that beautiful video of uh, the Wales family, Catherine, announcing she's done her her chemotherapy. Uh, sugars are all twisted in a knot about it. <laughs> we knew they would find something. Can you believe it? Charlotte's wearing the same shirt twice. <laughs> My God, they're kids. They probably have a favorite. Don't you remember? Like I remember my kids, they had favorite clothes. And there was like three or four outfits that were their favorites. And just, you know, just try and peel them off of them. Anyways. I digress. Oh, purple. Oh, good. Developmental clarity. Good, good, good. So things are, are looking up. We don't have the red alert. Let's start with King Charles. King Charles. King Charles. What color? What is the main color of his aura? Remember, your aura can change depending on stress, on illness, on environmental factors, uh, whether you're tired or not. Uh, it, it, uh, one color will be more prominent than the other. What color is Charles aura? Watermelon. Have fun with your inner child. So this is a bit of a red color. Um, uh, this is, uh, have fun with your inner child. Maybe this is telling him to relax a little bit. And actually the last few pictures we have seen of him, he did that hug, uh, he was laughing with the president of Nigeria. Uh, he does seem to have a little bit more joy in his life. So this is why this color is more prominent now. Uh, red could be, um, you know, he is just more concerned about his body, about the health of his body. So that's good. Have fun with your inner child. I think that suits him perfectly based on some of the pictures that we've seen. Camilla. Camilla. Camilla, 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 rainbow, connect to spirit in nature. So I think this just shows that she's quite balanced. You know, I think uh, also connect to the spirit in nature. 
I think she just really, she just really enjoyed being up, up in Balmoral in nature. Well, didn't they do something that they were in nature somehow? Or why, why am I seeing her um, maybe in rubber boots? Oh, me, oh, in her jeans, in her jeans. That's right. So she's just really balanced right now. Really, nothing's really bothering her. So isn't that lovely? All right, William. William, to beard or not to beard? That is the question. William, what's the main color of William's aura right now? What's the main color of William's aura right now? What's the main color of William's aura right now? Bronze. Strengthen your body. Strengthen your body. Bronze. This is him being really strong, isn't it? Um, interesting here with bronze. It is more like a... A brownie red, so grounding. So just, I, I just feel like, I honestly feel like William, even though he's a Cancerian um, and, you know, water people tend to be a little bit more emotional. I find him very grounded, a very grounded person versus a spiritual person. Um, I'm not saying he's not emotional. I just find him very grounded. And, and, you know, you look at those pictures and he's, and he's protecting his family. He's got his arms around Catherine. He's got his, there's that beautiful picture of the three of them, Catherine and Charlotte, and he's the protector of the ladies in his life. And right now he's still in protection mode. This is what this is telling me. He's, he's in protection mode. All right, Catherine, this will be interesting. Catherine, Northy uh, mentioned in her live that she feels that Catherine's um, aura has lightened up, has, uh, is almost a, a white or is a white. Uh, so this will be interesting to see what, what shows up. Catherine, the main color of her aura, the main color of her aura, the main color of her aura. Oh, yellow. Purify your body. Well, this makes a lot of sense. After chemo, um, oh, and I did that reading that after chemo, she was going to do something very natural to detox. And a lot of people recommend that after chemo, try and get rid of some of those heavy metals out of your body, purify your body. So yellow also is a great place to be. That's connection with your solar plexus. Um, that's connection with your inner, your gut feeling. You know, when you say my gut feeling or my gut feeling is, or you you know, you can feel something in your stomach that things aren't right. Well, that's your intuition directly from the sun. And uh, so she's really, um, really connected uh, to doing what's right for her body. All right. Well, that was good. So I guess yellow is, is a lot light, lighter. Doesn't mean she's not doesn't have a white or just right now, this moment that I'm reading, yellow is more prominent. All right, so who's next? Who's next? I guess we have to do Harold. I guess we have to do Henry. It's his birthday. Let's let's con let's include him. Rainbow. Connect to spirit in nature. While well, he's going away for his birthday. For his 40th birthday, he's going to uh, go camping with his friends. So this tells me he's kind of balanced, guys. Hmm. I wonder if that means he has no stress. <laughs> well, he's going, uh, apparently he's going, I don't know if he is or not. Megan, I don't even want to say her name. The faker. The Flopple, Mrs. Flopple, her royal Lowell, Low, Low, Lowly, Low, Lois, instead of Highness, Lowness, her royal Lowness, crawl on the ground, you filthy snake. <laughs> Rainbow, uh oh. So they both are on the same wavelength, connect to spirit in nature. Isn't that interesting? Now, this time we're getting a lot of rainbows. I wonder if they've come to a, a decision. I wonder. So this would tell me all their chakras are in line. 
I wonder if they're they're both kind of at peace with that, with the decision that they made. That was actually quite interesting. Anne, Princess Royal Anne, how's she doing? How was Princess Royal Anne? I don't I haven't seen an update on her health situation, but she has been out and about since after Balmoral. Anne, how's Anne doing? What's the main color of her aura? What's the main color of her aura? What's the main color of Anne's aura? Bronze. Oh, strength in your body. Okay, good. So she's working on her health as well, doing a lot of grounding. Interesting that she needs a lot of grounding because she hurt her head, right? So when you hurt your brain, you kind of leave your body for a moment and you need to um, really ground yourself. So she is working on, on, on strengthening herself, making herself a little bit stronger, and she's working on grounding herself as well with that brown. Interesting. All right. Um, let's just quickly do her husband, Tim. Let's do quickly Tim. I usually leave him out. I, I always get the feeling like he's like, um, he'd rather not be bothered. <laughs> but let's see. Let's do Tim. Rose, attract a relationship. Ooh, he's feeling very frisky. <laughs> He's feeling very, that the rose is also the heart. Um, and it, I think it's just, I think he's just really enjoying life right now. Maybe because Anne is feeling better, feeling stronger. Uh, I think, uh, I think they're, they're just kind of lovey dovey right now. And, and sometimes a nice holiday can do that. Bring, bring two people closer. All right. Let's do Mike and uh, Zara. So let's do Zara quickly. Zara, 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 how's Zara doing? She had a tumble off a horse. Pearl, connect to the divine. Wow, I'm wondering if that tumble on the horse actually, um, ooh, listen that, the clock agrees with me, might be a little bit, might have really knocked her off a, a little bit or knocked her out a little bit. Um, but she's got a white, like with that pearl connect to the divine. Kind of worried about that with her having that accident on that horse. Uh, she might need the the need grounding. She might be a little bit loopy, and there. I mean, that's just what happens when you injure injure yourself, and uh, especially if you have any kind of head injuries as well. I know there were helmets or whatever, but you, that doesn't mean you can't give your noggin a good shake when you fall, right? Mike, how's Mike doing? 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 How's our Mr. Mike? Gold attract abundance. Well, he's just being Mike Tyndall. Uh, he seems to be the kind of person that no matter what he touches, it turns to gold. Whether it's his career, whether it's his family, whether um, he just always seems to land on his feet. Good for him. Good for him. So he's doing well. All right, let's get to Andrew. The lots of, Andrew's in the news. I did a video on Andrew and the Queen, and I haven't decided whether I'm going to publish it or not. My, I, I thought maybe just members only, and now I'm even, ooh, yellow. Purify your body. Now I'm even wondering if I should do that. All right, so yellow, purify your body. So he is... Hmm. I wonder if he's going through some kind of health crisis. I might do a reading on that. But yellow, yellow is good. That's your solar plexus. That's listening to your intuition. That's um, in connection with the sun. With um, So that's good. Purify your body. Um, that's good that he's a yellow. I thought he'd turn out a little bit darker than that. Let's see how Sarah's doing. I haven't done a Sarah check-in in a while. Let's see, how's Sarah doing? How's Sarah doing? Sarah, Duchess of York. How's Sarah doing? Turquoise, awaken your empathy. This is also the heart chakra. Um, awaken your empathy. 
this is like to do with communication, to communicate to people um, how you really feel about them in a loving way, not in an unfiltered way, in a loving way and, and opening your heart to maybe even awaken your empathy. Um, maybe uh, realize that other people are, are upset for you for what you're going through. Um, you know, awaken your empathy. The turquoise, that's the heart chakra. But that's, I asked, which is color is big. So right now, um, with Andrew having yellow, and she has the turquoise, so that's the solar plexus in the heart, um, they're probably closer than they have been in a long time. All right. I'll do the girls. I'll just do Beatrice and Eugenie. Beatrice. What's Beatrice's? Mean or a color? Lemon. Access innovated thinking. So she, her chakra, isn't that interesting? They've all moved from the root up to the solar plexus. So they're all feeling much safer because you have solar, uh, you have root, sacral, and then solar plexus. So they've moved up. They're feeling a lot safer uh, in, in, um, in their surroundings. So she's really listening to her intuition. Uh, she's that's it, it access innovative thinking. She's really listening to her, her uh, intuition about things. All right. Eugenie, Eugenie, she was at a, a, a wedding recently in Germany You know, at one time the royal family all spoke German. I wonder if uh, if Granny taught her any German. As I understand it, she was fluent in German uh, because her her grandparents uh, spoke German, and I believe her father did as well. Eugenie, Eugenie, the wild card, eh? Amber, awaken your creativity. So here we have solar plexus again. This is amber is between the solar plexus and the sacral. So sacral is orange, and that is creativity because that's your reproductive organs. So this is moving up from the from your um, uh, sacral up into your solar plexus. So this is so fascinating to me. How many people? How many of them? are feeling safer are now because you can't be creative if you don't if you aren't feeling safe the last time I did this they all had red 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 something was going on now they're all relaxed their their chakras have moved up and they and I'm not feeling like there's any fear here it's like now they can be, be more themselves listen to their intuition become more creative become more of who they want to be Let's ask Edward. 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 That was weird. That was really weird. I had a cold spot on my hand right here. Like really cold, as if I was touching a piece of ice. I even looked to see. I don't have any ice in my in my wine. That was really weird. Like it felt like I was touching ice. Edward. Edward. I wonder if there's something wrong with his hand. Edward. Coral. Flow and synchronicity into your life. So here we have sacral again. Um, so this is the what I was telling you is is the creative part. Allow flow and synchronicity into your life. So that's nice too. He's also moved up from red. Uh, this is a very uh, creative, passionate part of, of your body. And again, we're asking what's the most prominent. So right now he's very passionate. He's very, very passionate about something. So let's see. Let's ask Sophie. Last but not least, the lovely Sophie. Last but not least. I sure like her. I bet if I knew her in real life, we would be friends because we're about the same age. Um, she just seems so lovely. I'm sure she likes 
Spirits with spirits. <laughs> Sophie. Cards are ready. Peach. Look at that. They all inhale the breath of life. So this is so interesting because peach is a little bit lighter than orange. You're moving your way up to your solar plexus. Uh, this tells me her and Edward are on the same same path on the same journey they're both passionate at the same time edward's allowing the synchronicity to flow into his life and she's in, in allowing the breath of life the I'm, I'm getting like a big sigh of relief somehow but this is so amazing for all of them because like i said the last time i did the auras they mostly all had red like they were on i just kept getting red alert red alert red alert red alert and um, now it seems like they're mostly relaxed. They're mostly moving into creative. And, you know, the, the pictures that we have seen, oh, they're mostly smiling, smiling and laughing. And they just even look more relaxed. Like they just really looked more relaxed. So I think that's going to be my next reading is why are the royals feeling so relaxed? What has happened that they are now feeling a little bit more relaxed? is, you know, Sarah, uh, Charles, and Catherine, are they out of danger zone? So everybody's more relaxed about that. Has a decision been made about Harry and Meghan? So are they more relaxed about that? Um, you know, that they, uh, or is it just because ah, you just had a really good holiday and you just come back from your holiday with that certain glow? Uh, that will be my next reading. So thank you very much for joining me and uh, please take good care of yourself. It's a crazy world out there <laughs> if you want it to be. <laughs> Define crazy. <laughs> please take good care. See you online. Bye for now. <laughs>